Jesus is now being offered to canines. Our Jane Wells has more. I'm Gigi Griffin, and this is Joy. Joy Griffin. Gigi Griffin is the last person you'd expect to see at a medical marijuana dispensary in Los Angeles. But she didn't come here for herself. She came for Joy. Well, basically, Joy was diagnosed in January with cancer of the bladder. Radiation and chemo would cost thousands of dollars. But Griffin had a friend who'd used medical marijuana to recover from cancer surgery and recommended it. And that's how she discovered the hottest new field in cannabis. Here we go. I'm just going to squirt it in there. Pot for pets. It does. That's a good boy. Deborah Jans has been giving her dog, Tyler, a cannabis-based product to deal with arthritis. He started swinging again and he's running in the park again. Jake Snappen started giving the same product to Sunshine to stop her seizures. It worked. She's eating her whole meals when generally she's very a very picky eater. There isn't a lot of research on the effect of cannabis on animals, which is one reason why the ASPCA and PETA are withholding support. Also, vets cannot legally prescribe it. So to get a pet pot product like this, you usually have to go somewhere where they can sell it legally to humans. And in California, that means you have to have your own medical marijuana card. Some veterinarians feel at the very least the products can't hurt, especially since they have very low levels of THC to prevent pets from getting high. And one vet even started his own line. We're using medical marijuana for very common ailments, you know, pain, arthritis, anxiety, and these are common ailments that we see in the veterinary clinics every day. Look at her. She's just, she just uh, looks healthy. She eats well. She has a lot of energy. And instead of spending thousands of dollars on chemo and radiation, Gigi Griffin is spending about a hundred bucks a month for On the Money, Jane Wells, Los Angeles. What will they think of next?